Dwight Eppinger. I'm an interactive marketing manager here at Copper Mountain. So I manage the website. Um, I basically do a lot of programming, um, snow reporting systems, and I manage the snow reporters. Uh, so basically the technical sides of marketing. Last year, we had had a whole bunch of signs built around the mountain, and they had list all the different trails that potentially get groomed. And they have little sliders on it with, where basically by hand you can move them and, and make them say open or closed. And uh, it turns out that little kids like to play with them. Um, the wind can blow pretty hard and, and they can really be pretty in, inaccurate. We decided to, to look into a way to make it so there was no human interaction. I work for um, a boss here who's always pushing me to do new things, so he said he wanted a new trail map, so I just figured out how to do it, and, and we had it up and running by that season. Initially, uh, I actually told my boss that I couldn't do it, and um, I got a, a Make magazine, and there was a little article on the Arduino, and so I just decided to actually order one from SparkFun and I had it come in and I started with the simple just making an LED blink and, um, and just kind of did a lot of reading through the just blogs and tutorials and, and built from there you know and it was really step by step it wasn't like any big leap in the middle it was kind of just piece by piece until it was finally wait I, I can actually do this initial challenges were figuring out how everything works. I mean, I couldn't complete a circuit. Really very little electronics background. I have a background in graphic design. Really everything else I've kind of taught myself. Just learned from Google and, uh, and the internet. Um, the Arduino forums and SparkFun forums. And I bought a few books like uh, Programming Interactivity, I think How Things Talk. Have you seen any other mountains with projects like this? I, I know a few other mountains have LED signs that tell you either uh, trail status or lift status, but as far as I know, they're all kind of hand controlled. They're either you're in the back flipping little switches or it's a completely separate system. And what we've tried to do here is to keep a central database for all of our snow reporting information. And that feeds everything from whether it's the signage on the resort to our Facebook app to our website, all that kind of stuff. So kind of really simplifying it and making it easy, um, kind of reducing that human error. So you input it once and it's the same, it's at least the same everywhere. So uh, ski patrol in the morning, they go in and they get the reports from the groomers and they, they have their list and they go through the trails and mark them if they're open, closed, if there's a race on it. Um, we have a noon groomer. And so they go in the back end of our system that's online and they update it and then I have uh, an XML feed that gets generated from that and we send that message wirelessly to the signs um, every two minutes. Control headquarters and they can still update all the signs right from up here from the computer. What parts did you use? I used an 8x8 dual color matrix, LED matrix. The Maxim, I think it's 7219, it's the processor that controls what lights you're turning on. Um, the Arduino Mega, which, because I am driving so many, I, I need a lot of input-output um, options. And then I use, also used your um, mini SD memory card board. What words of advice do you have for people who are just getting started in electronics? You know, um, just take it step by step and, and you know figure out a goal and, and reach that goal and, and just try not to get frustrated. Those really exciting moments are when you, you have this problem and you solve it. There were, there were certainly a couple days in there where I felt like I didn't make any progress whatsoever, but you, you go to bed and you, you think of something at night and you know, I run into the office and either wire it differently or try programming it differently and that, that moment when it works is, is is worth all that other frustration.